Okay. If we were on an aeroplane and the oxygen masks came down, to help you with yours first. I know you're not supposed to, but um, would for you and uh, probably my mum. No one else. I used to think it was your eyes. You've got proper beautiful eyes. Or your hair. Or your body. Or your skin. But now, I don't know. I think it's your voice. Is that weird? It's your voice that I think about. The most, anyway. What are you smiling at? No, nothing. Oh. It's, it's embarrassing. Tell me. It's just funny how things work out. You know, a year ago, before I moved in, I remember lying here. I know who you are. Before my phone alarm vibrates on the pillow next to my head, I'm awake because I've not been closing my blinds. Recently, I leave them open with the hopes that it will be the light that floods into my room in the morning that will wake me up instead of a phone alarm vibrating on the pillow next to my head. I relish the time in the morning. The moments that I have of my present day's self before the day that belongs to yesterday's self begins. She's laid out a fairly productive schedule and one that I'd rather not be a part of. It's full of filling kettles and scrubbing dishes that she's left out to soak with the consideration that I would rather do them after having had a good night's sleep. Bitch. Yesterday's self has asked me to run around Calvin Grove Park because she knows it will make me feel better. Giving myself time to shower, wash my hair and change all before the day's errands begin. Yesterday's self is all about time. But right now, I have my time before her starts. I want to stay here, on my back with my head turned to the left looking at the imagined version of you that I went to bed with. I want to snooze contentedly, calmly, without the pillow on the phone next to my head ticking by. I want to lace my fingers together, disconnecting five of them from my body and attaching them to yours. I want to propel myself forward to a time that there will be 20 fingers pulling at sheets, 20 toes poking out from the end of the duvet, Four hands grappling around for the phones on the pillows next to the heads. I want to tell yesterday's self to fuck off and surrender to me. Nothing on the schedule is vital. It can all be put off. I need to brush my teeth, sure, but not as much as I need to breathe. But this is a Monday attitude. And I'm pretty sure today is a Thursday. Yet again, time is against me. Today, my selves must align. I had a dream about you. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of dream? <laughs> Was it a sex dream? <laughs> yeah. Was it good? Yeah. 
Mm. Oh, really, really good. Mm -hmm. Did I make you come? In real life or in the dream? <laughs> in what? <laughs> you were a really, really good kisser. This is therapeutic. Don't let go of me. I can't. <laughs> You see these animals? Yeah. You see how the rangers have taken them away and like drugged them? Taken them away and then brought them back? Yeah. And you see how people say that they've been abducted by aliens? Like, is that what the animals say? <laughs> no. no, but maybe that's what happens to humans <laughs> by one. aliens. No, but maybe we're all just being watched and tracked by superior beings. Well, we're not superior to animals. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think so either. We're pieces of shit. <laughs> I just mean superior in terms of capabilities. Like you don't see lions coming in here and drugging us just so you can look at our teeth. Teeth. Okay, that was just a random example. Right. <laughs> but when the animal comes back, do you think it thinks it's been abducted by aliens? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's sort of has. Do you think false hope is better than no hope? False hope doesn't stop me sleeping. I'm anxious. Why? I don't know. Are you anxious about anything in particular? I don't think so. Right. But I'm anxious. Really, really anxious. Okay. Well, here. What? <laughs> Take my hand. Why? I, I don't know. It just might help to hold on to something. No. You could try grabbing that lamp instead. It will probably have the same grounding effect I'm trying to achieve. The lamp was probably a bit cold anyway. Maybe too thin. You are better than a lamp. <laughs> I think I'd like that as my epitaph. Thank you. Anytime. Before you say anything, just don't. Would you rather... Mm, you have to have slugs for fingers, but you still get to have me as your best pal. Or you get to have normal fingers, but you're not friends with me. 
I'd rather have slugs for fingers. That's what I'd rather have. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I've got the spins. Mm. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I think it's all this talking and sharing my feelings. <laughs> what I think is the bottle of four pound being a grigio and the half joint you smoked. No. <laughs> just a girl gazing at an empty shop front asking that it not become another pret. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, I'm not answering that again. Oh, come on. It's all hypothetical. It is horrible. If you had to, bullet to your head. Oh, <sighs> if you had to, bullet to your head, who would you punch? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I do this thing sometimes. What? I sit and just sort of think. I think everyone does that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know that. What do you think about? You brought it up. Yeah, I know. Just forget it then. I think about conversations. Okay. Like, between me and you. What are we saying? I don't know, lots of stuff. We're having a conversation right now, you know. I know. So why do you think about them? Why, why not just have them? Um, I don't know. I guess it's just not that simple. I am so eloquent in my head. In my head, I am the only one talking. And I always know what to say. And I always say it. I guess I just have control. They're loaded answers, aren't they? The ones I'm giving. It's because I'm in charge of the conversations from both ends. I think I prefer the version of you in my head more. I understand them. I can make them laugh when they're sad and I can give them advice which is helpful and never patronising. Oh my God, I can tell them about anything. I can tell them when I'm nervous or I'm sad and I can kiss them. I can tell them that I care about stuff, that I care about them without being fucked. I can hold her hand in public and I know that she'll take it and squeeze it. Maybe I don't prefer that version of you. But I definitely prefer that version of me. Do you ever just get something in your head and you think, yeah, this is it. This is the thing. This is what I want. And before you know it, it's just taken over all your thoughts. You just think about it all the time and you think, I would give anything for this. I'd never not want this. Yeah, a mayo chicken. <laughs>
I don't know, I just got into my head that that what? That you changed your mind. That you didn't care. Sam, are you serious? I could not care more about you if I tried. Jesus is at the point of obsession. Like I am so horribly, horribly invested in you, and I truly, truly thought that you knew that. Oh, it's so embarrassingly obvious. And I thought that it was like... What? Too much. Like, for what we were meant to be. So I tried to dial it down a little bit. But I'm telling you right now that I've never been this close to anyone in my life. There is no way in a million fucking years I would have told you that if it wasn't for the fact that you're upset because you think that I don't care about you. And you know what, Sam, I would rather be honest about how I feel if it means you're safe in the knowledge of just how unbelievably fucking brilliant you are. Okay, I'm gonna have a cigarette. Did you talk to her? Did you speak to her? Yeah, I did. Oh, nice. How was it? Do you feel better? Why do you want to know? Why are you asking me this? I'm just asking. You were worried about it and we had talked about it, so I'm asking. Being a good friend? No, you're not. What? You want to know if I ended things with her? Well, yeah, but... You want me? to have ended things with her. I'm lost. I can't keep doing this to you. No, come on. Don't do this again. I'm leading you on. It's not fair on you. You've wanted to ask ever since we spoke about it. Well, yeah, but... Uh, You're all desperate to oh, fuck off. No, I'm not. You want me to have ended things with her? I was really just asking. Have you been waiting on me telling you this ever since we last spoke? I, I don't understand. Tell me. I'm lost. Tell me you want me to have ended things with her. Okay. I want you to have ended things with her. Why? What? Why do you want me to have ended things with her? Well, because you said things were getting too serious and it was freaking you out and I don't want you doing things that freak you out and make you unhappy. Right. Is that all right? Well, is that really the reason? I'm lost. I mean, that's a reason for me, sure, but is that why you want me to have ended things with her? Yeah. Okay. You're being weird. Okay, ignore me. All right, crazy tits. Shut up. Getting a bear. Do you want one? Always. No. Actually, no, fuck this. This, this is what isn't fair. You always do this. 
You're the one, you're the fucking one who said you wanted to be friends, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm hurting you. Oh, this is what's hurting me. Every time I get comfortable thinking we're in a good place, you switch. You get weird and try and ruin everything. I'm not trying to ruin everything. I'm trying to do the right thing and not let you get hurt. Well, you're not doing the right thing. I'm not saying you're purposely trying to hurt me, but I'm telling you, you are. You trying to not let me get hurt is the principal source of pain in my life right now. And also, I'm not a child. You don't have to stop me from getting hurt. I don't think you're a child. Oh, it sounds like you do. I just think you're going to get hurt and I don't want that to happen. Stop saying that. Because you want something that I Fuck can't you. give you. And I know it's hard. I wish things were different. Fuck but... you. You don't get to decide that. Decide what? What? You don't get to decide if I'm in love with you. I didn't... Yes, you did. You are, you do. I didn't realise that's what I was doing to you. Fuck. I'm sorry. It's fine. No. No, it's not. It's fine, just... Just stop it. Okay, please? I'm gonna make some tea. Cool. You want some? Yeah. I'll give you a minute. I don't need a minute. Sorry. No. Don't be. Sorry, I'm sorry. That was weird. That's all. You're being rude. You're lying to me. What? Well, you're not telling me the truth. This is the truth. The whole truth. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Don't. You can't handle the truth. Not even a smile? I just want you to be serious for once. I just want you to be honest. I am being honest with you. Please. Why are you... Because you never actually say anything. You never actually do anything. You just pretend that you're fine even when you're clearly not. And and you always deflect any attempt at a serious conversation. Oh. And, 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 and you always tell me that I should open up about my feelings, but, but you don't do that. You never actually say what's going on in your head and it is... It's so frustrating. So, so this is me. This is me forcing you. This is me. This is me pulling it out of you. So please, just, just tell me. I don't know what you want me to see. Look at me. Tell me how you feel when you look at me. Stop this. Tell me. Why are you doing this? Please. Don't do this. Say it! <laughs> oh, it's okay. I can't. You can. No, I, I, I don't know why, but I can't. You can. Say it. I, I need to go. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. Wait!
I can't keep doing this to you. No. Don't do this again. I'm leading you on. It's not fair on you. Fuck this. I'm hurting you. I'm trying to do the right thing and not let you get hurt. I just need some time to think this through. Well, we have all the time in the world. I don't know what you want me to say. Look at me. Just tell me how you feel when you look at me. When I look at you, I never want to stop. I don't really speak to them anymore. Why? I don't know. We had a sort of argument. I don't remember what it was about. And we drifted, you know? And then we just sort of stopped talking. It sucks. Yeah, I guess. I kind of do that with a lot of people though. What? Completely stop talking to them? Yeah. Sort of. Good to know. <laughs> I'm not very good at maintaining relationships. I can't do that. Do what? Stop speaking to people. Cut people out. I hate the idea of people leaving my life. Really? Sometimes it's healthy though, don't you think? Yes. Yes, completely. I just can't do it. You don't really fall out with people, do you? No, not really. I tend to be quite relentless in my friendships. I'll always reach out. Like, if I want to talk to someone, I'll text them or whatever. Even if I probably shouldn't. I'm not particularly cool with that kind of thing. There's nothing cool about isolating yourself. This is true. I mean, that's the reason you have so many friends. Yeah. I do have kind of a lot of friends. People appreciate effort. So, so if you wanted to, could you like, cut me out? I mean, I guess so. And you wouldn't find it hard? No, I would find it hard. Of course I would. But this is all hypothetical. I don't want to cut you out, so I'm not going well, to. So, so what if I were to stop reaching out? If I stopped texting you or calling you, would you try and keep this going? I don't understand. Would you... I mean, would you actively try and keep me in your life? If we weren't stuck like this? Of course I would. Why are you asking me this? Well, it's just... You say you drifted. 
the, these other people and I can tell you miss having them in your life. I can tell by the way you speak about them. Okay, well, so what? So, so what's to stop us from drifting? Hey. I mean it. What if one day you just stop replying? What if you cut me out? Do you really think I would do that to you? I don't know. I feel like I don't really understand how you work. And usually that's okay, but sometimes, I don't know, it freaks me out. Well, like this idea that you could just kind of get over whatever this is and go. That I'd still be left, like, missing you. That was embarrassing. I, I wish I'd never brought this up. Hey. Hey, it's, it's fine. You know, I'm, I'm glad you did. Sometimes it's important to voice this stuff, you know? Yeah, I guess. You're worrying about something that isn't happening. I know. We're very much a part of each other's lives. Yeah. I don't want you to disappear from my life. And... I don't want to disappear from yours. There are pages and pages of you stuffed underneath my bed, waiting to be pulled out and unraveled and spilled onto my bedroom floor. God, you are in every word I write. Like the paper seeped into the ink. Some parts are rushed and some parts are meticulous. But it's all you. Uh, there are letters. Some go on and on and on, page after page after page, detailing every moment, not skipping a single detail. They would never fit an envelope. There are goodbyes. There are songs that are not good. There are excuses. There are long rambling attempts to account for my behavior. Confessions. There is an explanation for why I was about to do the thing that I never did. Beneath my bed. I used to go to bed with them every night and I would cradle them tightly as I fell asleep. And as I would lie there, I would just wish to dream about them. And when I finally did dream, I dreamt I was just holding out my words to you. And then you would take them and then you would show me different kinds of flowers. In my dreams, these words become whispers and touches and laughter. I now sleep on top of them until I can be sure that they are memories of how I felt and not just reminders of how to feel.
Have you ever been in love? Yeah. Once. How was it? Fucking awful. Every song, all of it. Are these all about me? Mm-hmm. <laughs>